Let me ask you about another one of the big headlines this week, Donald Trump's visit to Arlington National Cemetery. You've been talking about this. He attended a wreath-laying ceremony, obviously, for the 13 service members who were killed during the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. He was invited by those family members. Important to say that. Um, He also had campaign staffers with him. You, of course, served at Arlington Cemetery in the Old Guard, so I know that this is a sacred place for you. Bottom line, though, I guess, Senator, is it ever appropriate to make campaign content at military graves? No, 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 go past this, past this part. In fact, never play this again. Damn, Tom Cotton has really been on a roll when dealing with these Democrat Party state operatives. And this clip is definitely no exception. You absolutely have to see this. The Arkansas senator pounced on NBC's least convincing liar, Karen Welker, as she attempted to bring up and smear Trump with the Arlington Cemetery hoax in what has become a very transparent and predictable pattern of misleading media attacks. So let's go ahead and watch this clip, but I do want to fact check something Karen Welker says at the end of this clip in defense of Kamala Harris, so stick around for that. Bottom line though, I guess, Senator, is it ever appropriate to make campaign content at military graves? Who didn't take campaign photos there? These families, Gold Star families, whose children died because of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's incompetence, invited him to the cemetery and they asked him to take those photos because as they told me yesterday when I spoke to Kelly Barnett and Darren Hoover, the parents of Taylor Hoover, who has Arkansas ties, they don't get to go to the beach on Labor Day. They don't get to have barbecues. This is their one chance to have a memory of their children to commemorate their service and to honor their sacrifice. They wanted President Trump there. They wanted to take those photos. You know who the families also invited? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Where were they? Joe Biden was sitting at a beach. Kamala Harris was sitting at her mansion in Washington, D.C. She was four miles away, 10 minutes. She could have gone to the cemetery and and honored the sacrifice of those young men and women, but she hasn't. She never has spoken to them or taken a meeting with them. Well, they they did meet with them during the Dignified Transfer. They were with them at the Dignified Transfer. Are you sure about that? Wrong again, Welker. Wrong again. I just hate how her and those like her in the media feel the need to constantly jump in and defend Democrats, and especially Kamala Harris. Even more pathetic, the state media bootlicker is either lying or ignorant, because guess what? Kamala Harris was not at the Dignified Transfer. Yeah, Biden was there, but do you remember what the big takeaway from that was? Some of the Gold Star families have criticized the president's conduct um, at the Dignified Transfer. There was a a father of one Marine who said that the president appeared to be checking his watch every time a flag draped transfer case came out of the plane. Well, I would say his message to all of the family members who were there, those who were not uh, even in attendance, is uh, that he is uh, grateful to their uh, sons and daughters. I noticed that Welker didn't mention that. How in the world did she get this job in the first place? Diversity, equity, and inclusion are DEI. Tim Russert was an objective by any means. But my God, she makes him look like the most stoic journalist that ever existed. Not everyone obviously was pleased with this visit. And again, just the the law says memorial services and ceremonies at Army National Military Cemeteries will not include partisan political activities. And it didn't, Chris. He wasn't, President Trump wasn't wearing a red... It was posted on a campaign site, though. He wasn't wearing a red MAGA hat. I understand. It was posted on the the Trump TikTok. Just like Joe Biden has posted content of himself in the cemetery or in other cemeteries or a dignified transfer. They're all American citizens. They have a right to go there and to honor the sacrifice of those 13 Americans who Joe Biden and Kamala Harris sent to their death. That boy's good. The Arlington Cemetery hoax is just another example of the media twisting and muting facts in order to benefit the Democrats and hurt their opponents. It wasn't a campaign event, and the Gold Star families invited Trump, Biden, and Harris. But only Trump showed. Joe Biden was hanging out on a beach, and Kamala Harris was probably taking bong rips and drinking wine at her house. And lastly, I just want to quickly throw this out there because it's still swirling around in the Democrat fever swamps that Trump somehow broke a federal law by having somebody take pictures there. The fact is, Trump could have taken pictures whether he was authorized or invited by the Gold Star families or not, because the Arlington Cemetery is publicly funded public land. If the park employees wanted privacy in this public area, they would have had it created themselves with some sort of tall fencing. That's just how it works, and I'd love to see them try and prosecute somebody for taking pictures in a public space especially Trump, because the charges are going to get thrown out. He's then going to have standing 
then he's gonna sue the crap out of them for obvious civil rights violations. So yeah, no scandal here, except for how utterly corrupt and untrustworthy one of our most important checks on power has become. If you're still here, please hit that like button and let us all know what you think about this in the comments. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot. See you all in the next one.